Harry Bunny by William McArdle. On the very first Christmas of their sweet baby boy, Mummy and Daddy found Harry's new toy under the tree where you might think to look. There was a perfume for Mummy and for Daddy a book. But next to their presents, from where, who can say, was something for Harry on that bright Christmas day. It was a cute cuddly bunny with big floppy ears, always ready for hugs whenever there's tears. Its body was pear-shaped, its tail was odd too. Its short fur was grey, but some thought it blue. He just needs a name, said Mummy to Harry. Hey, why don't we call your new bunny, Barry? On the very next Christmas, Harry sucked on his thumb and hugged Barry Bunny whilst carols were sung. But when he was two, no word of a lie, Daddy told Harry that reindeer can fly. By the time he was free, he thought that he might hide under the table and watch through the night. And together with Barry, he hoped he would see that moment when presents went under the tree. So that Christmas Eve, Mummy's brave little man snuck downstairs with Barry to act out his plan. In a room that was dark, but for lights on the tree, young Harry spied someone, knelt down on one knee. The figure was dressed in red festive clothes, with a jolly white beard and soot on his nose. He carried a sack, filled with toys to the brim, and Harry decided that this must be him. But then Harry dropped Barry, and he tried not to yawn, and when he looked up, Santa had gone. Harry said softly, Where did he go? For all that was left was a sprinkle of snow. But the stockings were filled, and if he wasn't mistaken, the mince pies and carrots and milk had been taken. Through the window he looked to a cold winter's sky, and Harry knew then that reindeer can fly. <laughs>